Hey guys, welcome back to Colson Scritters. I'm Colson Smith, and yes, as you saw by the title and thumbnail, we are losing some corals, and I'm here to tell you why. Let's get into the video. Okay, first things first, before we get into why my corals are dying, we're gonna head to Top Shelf Aquatics, do a little bit of a tour and show you their display tanks. Then we're gonna head to my manager, Jed's house, and film some of his fish tanks while he's gone. Um, and then we'll get into why my corals are dying. So let's get it. So, the Innovative 25 Lagoon. What have I done to it? <laughs> I've added my red mushroom from my display tank at home. We got this cloudberry chalice in the middle with these very nice glasses on the outside. And check out this gani that Tomas snagged from me from the farm. Killer. That's a really nice gani. Yeah. And you got the, look, if you come over here, you got the worldwide tasers up there. One of my favorites. And then, oh, check out the AOI blues. Or are those the blue ones? I don't know. I'm not gonna These those. are the AOI blues right there. Those look really good. I believe so. But check out this infinity gauntlet too. That's another killer piece right here. This thing's mainly just zoas and some mushrooms, but it still looks really, really nice. We're working on setting up a water box here, um, so stay tuned for that. That's coming soon. Oh, go show them the 350. All right, let's go to the 350. This thing is super, super nice. There's a lot of really nice coral in here. Um, some SPS, mainly some a ton of trachees and wellsos, acans, ganis. We got a whole gani section here. This one's a little closed up, but it's normally like huge taking up that section. Uh, there's some really nice toadstools in here. Um, here is a digi. Um, there's our famous bounce mushroom, the OG bounce. Um, got a pair of clownfish in here. There's some Bartlett, Bartlett anthias. Three blue or two blue star leopard grasses, one male and female, a Bourbonius, and a bunch of zoas as well. All right, next I'm going to show you guys the um, Reefer 1000 in the tanker. Here is the Reefer 1000. This is a beautiful tank. Um, this is 265 gallons with the tank and the stand or the sump. Uh, there's a ton of little fish in here. Um, we're doing slowly adding fish to this tank right now. There's just a ton of coral in here, as you can see. Just a sane amount of euphelia and other corals, like other LPS corals. Um, they're going to slowly add fish to this tank, so right now there's just some firefish, grasses, um, antheus, and there's a few tanks in here, but they're very tiny. So let's check out a little sump here. So in the sump, we have the reef roller mat, the new reef roller mat. We're loving it. We've had it in here for a bit, but the first two weeks we had it, it dropped our nitrates and phosphates to zero, and we had to actually feed super heavy and turn it off. There's also a protein skimmer in here, little rock section for filtration. A little circulation pump down here, if you can see it right there, um, just to keep the detritus from off from settling. There's an ATO in the back there, and then if we go, turn the light off, motion sensored light, and if we go over to the other side here, this is going to be our little refugium at some point. I don't think there's a light on this side, so bear with me. Um, we're not going to really do a refugium on this side. Um, but there's a whole Neptune Apex setup here. So there's no Trident, I don't believe, on this, but um, we dose, uh, what are we dosing right now? Alkalinity and magnesium. So this tank is looking super, super nice. I'm gonna get some clips of this tank. Uh, we're using the Neptune Sky Lighting, if anyone's curious, um, with the Neptune Auto Feeder on here as well, just for the Antheus and the Firefish mainly. I don't care what all the models have to say. Make it to the top, but you 
Okay, so this is the invert system. This is the fish system here. Um, I'm gonna show you some clips of the fish here in a little bit, um, and then I'll just show you some of the really cool stuff we have here. We got to Jed's house. Um, I'm gonna go feed his fish. Jed is in Texas right now. If you don't know who Jed is, I work with Jed at Top Shelf Aquatics. He's the fish manager. Um, this is Jed right here. We were in two Paul Farrow videos together, this one and this one. Um, Jed actually has his own YouTube channel, so shout out to Jed. I'm gonna leave the link of his channel in my description below. Um, we're gonna go feed his fish and look at some of his tanks and see his coral and all that. So yeah, let's head inside. And boom, all right, this is his 80 gallon display, I believe. Um, this is a super super nice tank. There's some really cool corals in here and some decent fish um, He has gotten some new corals since the last time I was here I'm very sad that we don't actually have Jed here to tell you what is all in here because I'm not 100% sure of what equipment he uses and all the coral he has in the tank um, But he does have some really really cool coral. I know he's using two XR15s. I believe they're blues Yeah, so there's some really cool fish in here. There's a yellow tang. There's a Deuce Mary tang uh, which is actually both of these tanks are really hard to get right now. That one's actually a biota tank, so it's not the true Hawaiian one. But this De uh, Deuce Mary tank is the true Hawaiian one. Um, there's a fox face, I believe. Yeah, there's a cop. Uh, yeah, there's a bang eye, and I believe there's a dotty back in here um, that went missing. So right now, if we can find him, that'd be awesome. But I don't think he's in here anymore. Um, we have some really, really nice chalices in here. These chalices are insanely cool. Um, probably one of my favorite corals in this tank. He has a super sweet photo I'll pull it up actually on the screen right now of this torch. It's actually a gold torch uh, You think it's a New York Knicks and then there's also a green tip torch next to it as well and They're actually grafted together. So that's super cool. I've never seen one like that before He's got some insane mushrooms in here. Normally this bounce mushroom is way bigger um, But as of right now, he's not too big um, but yeah this mushroom is insane. Um, we got a few more torches in here, like this one there, that one, and that one. And then there's this frog spawn that's got like super long tentacles. That is really, really cool. Oh, you actually got an acantho. That's awesome. Okay, so there's a little mini acantho in here, um, which is really cool. And there's some nice soas in here. Here's the 50 gallon. This 50 gallon has had some ups and downs. Um, he started to add a few more corals to it. So we got this really nice balance mushroom in here. Um, there are some recordia, um, a little favia, and there's a toadstool up at the top here. Um, there's three fish in here, the Moeri leopard, uh, the longnose hawk, and the hogfish um, here, the candy stripe hog. Um, there's this really cool starfish here. Um, you know what, first things first, let's go ahead and clean the glass real quick. Okay, boom, this tank is now nice and clean. Uh, went ahead and scraped all the algae off, as you saw. Um, but now we're gonna go ahead and just feed some of the fish in here. We're gonna feed this tank, and we're gonna feed that tank over there. Y'all to comment down below which tank was your favorite, and which coral in the tank was your favorite, um, down in the comments right now. If you do follow Jed's TikTok, um, you will have seen his famous clownfish, um, Omen. Omen the clownfish is still here. He is in the sump here, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you him. Um, he is right down here. There's Omen. Everybody go comment, we love Omen, or hi Omen. Say something about Omen in the comments. 
Um, there's his little anemone, the Colorado Sunburst for him. I believe it's a Colorado. I may be wrong, it might be a Chicago. Okay, now it's feeding time, so let's grab some food. Um, I got some seaweed for the tangs uh, and some TDO pellets for the rest of them today. Um, we're gonna be mixing it up throughout the week. I'm gonna be giving them some frozen food as well. But today we're gonna be feeding some pellets and some uh, seaweed, so let's get to it. It's good to feed your fish variety, um, so switching it up by feeding pellets sometimes, frozen sometimes, different kinds of frozen foods as well, and always feed seaweed to the tangs. Um, just because seaweeds need a lot, seaweeds, tangs need a lot of seaweed in their diet um, to make them nice and fat. So we're gonna go ahead and pop in some seaweed and some pellets, and then tomorrow I'll probably do frozen, some sort of frozen food that he has in the freezer over there, but yeah. Um, let's feed them some pellets. <laughs> While I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and check his RO, see if it's full, yep it is. Um, it's full enough, I'll add more um, once it gets lower. Um, here's his little setup, he's got a minimalistic setup. With the innovative tanks, you don't really need much to it um, because they don't require a sump uh, because it's all built in the back. So the innovators are pretty nice, pretty much all of the filtration is gonna be in the back chamber here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and check the big tank as well. Um, this one does actually have a sump, so we do have to check to see if the RO water is good. Yep, so it's pretty full. Okay, we're back at my house, and now I'm gonna tell you why my corals are dying. Okay, here is the 150 gallon reef tank. This is where we were losing some of our corals. Um, so here, let me show you some of them. Like this Monty cap right here, completely bleached out. Uh, I mean, it's, it's got barely anything left on it. Uh, this one here, you got a little bit, some tips burnt on it, as well as this one up here. Mainly some of the tips of the corals are bleaching, like that one and this one here. And this one, like half of it bleached out. Uh, so, complete bummer, but it's only the S SPS that it's happening to. So you can see this guy here as well, in the back right there. Um, it's really the only SPS that's being bothered by it. Um, some of our LPS isn't opening as full as normal, like this Duncan and Colony here. Um, and, uh, you know, this trachea is normally like triple the size. Um, the lights did just turn on, so some of this is not open because of that. The reason for some of these corals dying is our RODI system. So let's go to the garage and check that out. Okay, here's our RODI system. It's in our garage. Don't worry about the whole AC unit and the noise that it's making. I'm sorry about that, but um, here it is here. It's the bulk reef supply one. Now, it's supposed to come out at zero parts per million. Uh, Ours comes out at, if you can read that, 150. So obviously these cartridges are bad and they need to be replaced. So I have all new cartridges today and we're gonna be replacing them. Basically what this system does, if you're not aware, this makes RODI water, which is super, super clean, basically distilled water. You use this to add to your salt water tank because the salt in the water doesn't evaporate, but the fresh water does. So you have to add fresh water back into the tank and it has to be really clean. Uh, having 150 parts per million is not good, meaning that the tank's super dirty with dirty clean, like dirty fresh water. So that's why some of the SPS is a little more sensitive and they are dying. So we're gonna get these replaced today and yeah, let's get to it. Okay, I got the different cartridges here. So I have the, what is this? This is the sediment filter. This one's gonna go in this stage right here. Um, then I got the high capacity carbon block. Um, this is gonna go in the middle one here. And then I have the DI resin, which is going to go in the last chamber there. And then I also have the uh, ultra high rejection cartridge, which goes on the top. All right, we got all the cartridges replaced, um, and now we're just going to fill it up with water. So you can see the water is going to fill each cartridge chamber, and it's going to fill the top one, and then we're going to be ready to flow into our um, RO reservoir. Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, let me know by hitting the thumbs up and leave me a comment of what your favorite part of the video was. 
I just wanted to give a special thank you to everyone for subscribing. Um, I'm just gonna throw up some of my analytics right here. YouTube's doing really, really well. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe. Yeah, till next time, peace.